Hey guys, it's Will Garcia Online. So, just showing you a resistor network, a very simple uh, example here, and how we can simplify them down to one equivalent resistance. So, redrawing the circuit, we have our source voltage, and we can draw our R1 as it's shown above, and we're going to combine R2 and R3 in series to get an equivalent resistance and we'll just call that R23 and we'll just set R23 equal to R2 plus R3. Now that we have two equations in parallel or two resistors in parallel uh, we can redraw the circuit in its final form And the equation for this resistor will be the parallel combination of R1 and R23. And using our shortcut equation above for two resistors in parallel, we're going to multiply the two values and divide it by the addition of those two values. And by substituting R2 plus R3 for R23, we can get our final form for the equation, which is going to be R1 multiplied by R2 plus R3 all over R1 plus R2 plus R3. That was pretty simple. So now that we have the equation we need, if we want to plug in some values to uh, try out a sample problem, we can just give some values for some of these resistors. So we'll call R1 20 ohms, we'll make R2 40 ohms, and we'll make R3 40 ohms. And by simply plugging these values into our equation, we can solve for what is the combined equivalent resistance that our voltage source sees. So um, this is very handy for if you need to find out what the current going through the voltage source is or what the total power uh, or what the total power going through the load would be and um, this this is always a handy tool to keep in your in your circuit tool bag because combining uh, resistors is extremely important when you're trying to solve for uh, missing variables in the circuit So simply solving out for what REQ is going to be equal to. Uh, we can represent it in its final form, which would be 1600 over 100, or which is the same thing as just simply 16 ohms. Thanks for watching.